All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode one of Tech Tuesday. Again, my name is Christopher Brickmo, instructional coach at Shawnee Mission East High School. This series is going to come out every Tuesday to help us have uh, a better understanding of some technology tools for our classroom. Uh, and I wanted to start out this year and start out this series with one of my favorites. It's called Plan Board by Chalk.com. If we remember the four questions that uh, Rick DeFore asks us to really think about and use as forming our PLCs, um, this really begins to answer that first question. Uh, what do we need students to know and, and how can we plan our instruction? So I want to get started right away with that piece. Uh, we are going to be looking really at four things today. Uh, number one, how do we set up a semester schedule? Uh, how do we include our preps and our classes in plan board? Uh, the beautiful thing is, is once you create uh, a plan for one prep, uh, you can just push it out to all the different hours. Uh, so we want to walk through that, uh, show you what it looks like to create lesson templates for use in all of your lessons to make that nice, easy, and, uh, and quick and ready to go for you. Uh, setting up standards to use uh, for tracking lessons. So we need to make sure that we're teaching to all the standards, uh, and there's an easy way to figure that out. Uh, and there's an easy way to populate those into our lessons and get a snapshot to make sure we are on track and on board. And finally, how do we share lessons uh, and schedules that we've created, course plans that we've created with PLC members, so that we don't have to spend our PLC time planning and putting together uh, the daily plans and sequence. So let's get started, uh, and we are going to see uh, how to log in and create those things from scratch. Once you are logged in, you can see here there's a lot of different things that Chalk.com offers for us, and this is the dashboard. Uh, but one of the things that we are going to work with really simply is plan board. The first step that we need to do is create a semester. And so when we create a semester, uh, you have the option to use a previous semester and just input that information, including your lessons and resources, very helpful tool, or we can create a new semester. And so that's what we're going to do here is create uh, a new semester. Uh, we're going to name this uh, fall semester school year 1718. Uh, to make that easy, we choose our start date. So let's choose uh, that start date. We'll click our end date. Uh, nice and easy and simple. We'll get that all the way to our end date. Notice you have your days teaching. Do you teach Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in the semester? Or if it's a different schedule, we can indicate that there. But once we do that, we hit Create, and that semester uh, has now been uh, created. So the next thing we need to do is add a subject. When we add a subject, this is basically your preps. You're not adding the hours that you teach uh, and the different sections that you teach, but you're adding your preps. So we're going to use uh, this new subject here, and we're going to click to Edit. Uh, we're going to call this uh, American government. Uh, and uh, the beautiful thing about this then uh, is you can choose the color. Uh, and there's already curriculum sets. Now, I have inputted uh, some standards uh, from Economics or America to Size or American Government courses that I've taught before. So we're going to use that curriculum set. Those are the standards that are already in there. I'll show you how to add other standards uh, and create those uh, here in a bit. Uh, but now we're going to call uh, our sections. So this is where you would add your hours. So let's say we have this hour one, uh, and then we might have um, hour four. And then we'll say we have hour seven. So by creating this, you can actually create one lesson uh, for your um, American government classes, and then it populates directly into those hours. So once we've created that semester, we've created the subject, we've also created uh, the sections uh, or the preps uh, and the hours. Now we just click Save, uh, and we are uh, set up. Now we can add a number of different subjects as we need them. Uh, so we're going to add um, economics as our subject here. We're going to color that one green. We're going to select the economic standards that have been inputted. 
uh, and uh, we're going to call that our three. Uh, and so we've got our system set up now uh, for the different classes that we do teach. Uh, and uh, this is a great place to uh, pause uh, and think about you know, what standards do we need to enter, uh, what pieces do we need to make sure are in place, uh, and uh, how are we going to build and um, edit these lessons. So we're going to take a look at that here in a moment, uh, but we'll get started on that one. Okay, so now we have to put these into our timetable. We've got our preps, we've got our subjects. We're going to click timetable, uh, and we are now going to add these into our calendar. Uh, and this is now where we're going to create the subjects um, set up in our plan book. Uh, and it's going to be useful uh, throughout the rest of the semester. Now, the beautiful thing about this is you can set up when each class occurs. So at the high school level, uh, we've got um, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, all seven periods, and then Wednesday, Thursday is odd, even block. So we can set those things up right here uh, as we go. So let's go to Insert Class, and we've got our subject and section. So we're going to insert our one. Uh, that class start time uh, is at 7.40, uh, so we can enter all of that information, including our end times, uh, and that's important, especially if you want to create a calendar to keep everything loaded together um, uh, nice and clean. That meets on Monday, that meets on Tuesday, that meets on um, uh, Wednesday and that meets on Friday. So those are the days in which it meets uh, and you can see here that we know that Wednesday is a block day so we need to fix that a little bit uh, and we can change that time. It does start at 740 but because block day goes uh, a little bit longer uh, we make that 905. Uh, and so once we've created that it's blocked out our schedule for hour one meeting on day one, day two, day three, and day five. Now we're going to do that for all the rest of our courses uh, to make that as uh, simple and direct as possible. Okay, so now you can see that I've got my schedule set up. I've got American government first hour set for the block days like we showed you. I've added my economics, which would be third hour in our high school calendar. Uh, I've added American government fourth hour. Uh, and you can see here that the block schedules are in the appropriate spot. And my American government seventh hour has been added. And that block schedule has changed. Once you've done that, Make sure you hit save every single time you uh, enter something in here because it's a cloud-based program. Uh, you need to hit save uh, so that it keeps it saved uh, for you. Uh, there have been times where I've made something and all of a sudden I got lost. And so we need to make sure that those are, uh, are there for us as we work. So um, now what we need to look at is how do we create a lesson template uh, and begin planning and associating these lessons uh, with the pieces that we have. Now, if we go over here uh, to our menu button, uh, we're going to scroll down to templates in plan board. Uh, and once we get to templates, uh, you can see that uh, I've already created a general lesson template that I use most often. But if we need to add a new one, you just click that plus uh, and we begin to add our pieces in here. This becomes a really important tool uh, because once you've created this template, you can now use it in all of your lessons. So I've got objectives, I've got resources, technology, different content notes or assessments. You're going to embed pieces right in here. Uh, and this is this piece that you're going to share um, once you've created a lesson with your colleagues uh, and once you've put it onto your calendar. So we're going to title this template um, Awesome Lesson plan template number one uh, and we then it's saved we're going to assign this to classes so because we are in fall semester uh, in the class that we created we can click uh, and we can assign that lesson template to the particular classes that we need if you have different template for science class uh, than you do or for biology class than you do for chemistry you can create different templates. If you have different ones for different levels, you can create those. Uh, but once we've assigned that, now they are uh, with us uh, as we go back to uh, our planning. 
And so that's what we're going to see uh, in this next part of the video. Uh, so let's get ready to build some of those things uh, and put them into our lessons. Now that we are uh, set up with our semesters and our courses, we need to do some planning. Uh, and that is going to happen within fall semester as we set it up. Uh, and if you go over to the menu bar and click plan board, that's going to take us directly to our day. And so if we're planning this lesson today, uh, you're already, you've already put the lesson template in there. You've already associated it with that. Uh, and here you would say, um, students will be able to identify, pardon my spelling, uh, the major sections of the Bill of Rights. And so you've already done that. Maybe you um, uh, use resources, textbook, page 45. Now you are um, putting all of that together. Uh, and it'll save automatically, or you can save it yourself. Uh, and now here is uh, where you can then um, either share it with other people. You can import pieces from uh, the cloud. Uh, and if you click on that, there's all kinds of different places that you can get those. Um, uh, that you've uploaded perhaps uh, within there. But when you go to options, if you click on options and you now have a bunch of pieces you can do here. You can export and share the lesson as a PDF or print it. It's great if you have a substitute that's coming in. Uh, you can share it. Uh, you can then share it with somebody else. If somebody has shared something with you, you go to import lesson. If that plan didn't really work out and you need to shift that lesson forward or backward, you can. So if we click forward, uh, it's going to make sure you want to do that, and then you'll tell it where to go. But for us, if we have this same class in our 7, we're going to copy this lesson on the 15th to um, our 7 uh, in this case. We want to put this in our 4 and our 7 uh, for American government. And so you can see that we're we set that lesson up in our 1. Now we need to associate it with our 4 and our 7. Uh, and so once you've done that, uh, you can then copy it to those classes. It'll ask you to confirm because it's going to be it's going to override anything you already have there. Uh, and by clicking yes, it will take exactly what you typed in to our 1. And you'll see here it is now an hour four and now an hour seven. The beautiful thing about this is, you know, if you um, are wanting to use technology with this uh, and you want to go to uh, the Constitution Center, you can create those links within there. You can upload files from Google Drive in there. You can keep everything like a YouTube video linked in there, and then it will copy down to all of those other pieces. Now, I want to point out, if you make an edit in one, notice hour one, I added that technology piece, but if you make an edit in hour one, it will not show up unless you copy it again uh, to those particular classes. So we want to copy it again to hour four and hour seven. It's going to overwrite that content, uh, and then that is going to be uh, all in place for us. So all of our American government hours have the lessons ready to go. The other thing that I want to point out here is the unit. So if you want to create and organize these things, you know, maybe you're typing in, um, you have your units already organized, but we're in unit one, um, and uh, we're going to call that foundations of government, and we create that. Now, unit one is going to be a tag that we can associate with any of these lessons. So again, notice it is not in this part here, but we can go through and we can click to make sure that it is in unit one. Uh, and if you want to do an economics lesson, you can create a new unit for economics. Uh, we'll call this uh, an economic uh, way of thinking. And when we create that unit, now any other lessons that we associate with that are going to be uh, tied to that. So what we now need to do and what we now need to look at are the standards. And so we've set up our semesters. We've done some planning. Um, there are some different views, by the way. Let me show you this. Uh, there is a way that you can view the week. And you got 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all of your lessons are right there. This is your lesson plan book uh, on paper that is now on your screen. You can also look by month and see what lessons are there and what lessons are being covered. Uh, and then you can look by unit. Uh, and if we take a look uh, at American Government Hour 1, there are one units, and these are the lessons that we have tied to those units. You could, you know, click on all lessons that are tied to Unit 1, uh, and then you're going to see that's the lesson that we have there. Uh, so there are some really beautiful tools uh, that we have here in terms of planning. Uh, and uh, so let's take a look at the final piece, which is standards. Um, I have already uploaded my standards in here, uh, and if you take a look, Here's our American government standards that I've, you know, created with my PLC and these essential questions. If we look at one, you know, unit one, we really have five anchor standards or questions that we need people to be able to answer. Uh, and so we can either use ones that are created for us or write our own. But if we are going to add new standards, you're going to hit that upload button uh, and we are going to... Um, call this, um, we'll call this Civic Framework, uh, and that is a new set of standards that we have created, a Civic Framework. Uh, and so if we want to add an item, right, we click that Add Another Item, and here we're going to click, you know, Code 1A, because we're doing this in Unit 1, and students will be able to identify founding documents and their importance. Here now we've created that standard. It's in there under Civic Framework. Um, you would be able to see all of these here. My suggestion is keep that code simple. Um, maybe the unit number and then a, another code that's associated with that. Because now what we can do is we can go back to our plan board and we can go back to our lessons that we have here. Uh, and now we click to edit. And when we click to edit, we can add standards. So here, um, because we've tied this to American government, I've already entered some standards, right? This was a Bill of Rights lesson. Um, so we are going to uh, maybe talk about, we can associate 1D with this. How have systems of government evolved over time? Uh, sorry. Uh, how do they might compare different rights? However, we want to put this in there. We're going to add 1D. You can add multiple. You know, we can add 1D and 1E, and we save that, and that only is associated with this one lesson, but we're looking at 1E and 1D. Now, again, we want to copy that to these other lessons from that day on those hours. We copy it and overwrite those pieces, and now we are updated and uploaded and we can see that our standards are being addressed here uh, and they have transferred over to these other ones. So I really hope that this gives you uh, a sense uh, of the power that we have with this platform. Uh, to bring it back a little bit, remember what we're looking at is we wanted to set up a semester schedule on our preps and classes, create those templates, set up standards to track those lessons, and then share those lessons with our PLC team members. Uh, I really hope that this was uh, an effective time for you, uh, and uh, we'll do a Plan Board 2.0 uh, Tech Tuesday coming up soon. Uh, hope you learned something, and look forward to some more learning on Tuesdays.